Hi folks, uh, John here for another episode of NYC CNC. Uh, this is a uh, move in a different direction. Um, as many of you know, we've been working on uh, milling and lathe equipment uh, for the past couple of years, but I've been recently spending a lot more time on electronic stuff, and so wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing, and uh, we'll see if folks are interested in following along or um, if perhaps uh, perhaps they're not, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, what I wanted to show you is I've been working with a piece of open source hardware called Arduino, and the uh, details of this will be on the blog posting in terms of links and uh, de other details in case you can't follow along or the text is too small to read. But uh, this is called Arduino once again, and it's a open source hardware microcontroller made by... Um, the company happens to be based in Italy, but like I said, it's open source, so um, you can make your own if you want and flash the chip. It's an AVR-based chip, and um, it's become very popular in the past, uh, oh, I guess, year, year or two years um, as a more, you know, a newer and, and more powerful version of something like the uh, basic stamp or even pickaxe. So I had never been able to sort of catch on with the other, um, you know, basic stamp and such, but I'm really finding Arduino to be a lot of fun and very easy and straightforward to uh, to pick up on. So what I want to show you today is a very, very practical thing that I made, which I think is going to be pretty cool. The end game here for me is to um, integrate some of the things I do in my machine shop and CNC with something like an Arduino to add motion or electromechanical aspects to them. Um, and I think I'm, I'm really excited actually to see uh, and show you some of the things I'm, I'm going to be making here. Um, the other thing is that for any folks that are interested in, you know, CNC or even electrical type uh, equipment like that in the shop, I think um, understanding at least the basics of this stuff can be very helpful. This is a $5 or $10 5 volt hobby servo. Um, even though it only costs a couple bucks, it's very, very similar to the much more expensive and much more powerful servos that are in the CNC equipment. And, you know, learning about resistance and capacitance, I think, is something I've certainly looked forward to. And, um, helpful if you're ever trying to build your own CNC or debug or anything of the sort. So, without further ado, let me show you what I've... All right, here is the Arduino underneath here. Actually, let me separate them. That's the basic Arduino. It costs about $30 to buy, assembled. And on top of it, I've got a uh, Proto Shield, which is basically um, a circuit board which uh, has a breadboard and the same pins you see on the Arduino below. It's just, all it is is a, makes it easier to prototype and experiment like I'm doing today. And um, I want to encourage you not to be intimidated. This is pretty simple stuff that I'm just learning myself. So what I've got here is I've got a servo that's plugged into my breadboard, and then I've got a button. You'll be able to see the code on the blog, which will help certainly help to follow along. Um, but basically, here's what's happening. What I wanted to do is when I push the button, I want the servo to move. So what I've done is I've hooked the button up to 5 volts and the other side to the digital input pin 2. So when I push the button, it basically allows 5 volts to go through to the digital input pin 2. And then I've hooked up a servo. A servo is the first cable, the black is a ground. The middle one, which is red, is 5 volts. And the yellow one here, sometimes they're white, is the control pin. And so what I've done here is hook that control pin up to digital pin put pin 9. So now let's take a quick look. Okay, here's the code. I encourage you to check out the blog link because it may not be easy to see this on YouTube based on the quality. But let me give you a quick walkthrough of what's going on here. If you've never programmed before, do not be intimidated. This is not difficult. Um, some of this stuff is introductory Arduino stuff. For the first line, which pulls in the servo library, sets it as my servo. But here, let's, let's start with the uh, important things. We have the position set as zero for the servo. Input pin two, now that's the button we hooked up to. And then val is zero. That allows us to read the pin. I'm going to keep this uh, a little bit uh, more high level because the code alone here, if I really explain it all, could take some time. But if you folks want to hear more, leave me a comment or shoot me an email, and I'll post a follow-up video with that detail. Uh, there's an incredible amount of information on the Internet for Arduino. Um, including uh, built-in tutorials, which I pulled this code from, and the free software that comes with it. So I won't focus too much on the intricacies of the code. What happens then is you go into a loop, you read the input pin. If the input pin is what's called uh, high, 
which means it has 5 volts instead of 0 volts, which would be low. It says 4, position 0, until it becomes 180, index up 1, and it loops that. So basically it's rotating the servo uh, from 0 to 180 degrees, and it's doing that by writing the position of the servo, which is the variable that, uh, excuse me, the integer that moves. And it's delaying 7 milliseconds each time it indexes. That sort of sets the RPM of the servo. In the last position I have here, I wrote code write, uh, my servo write 180, which leaves the servo at 180 when it's done, and that's it. So let's take a look at what happens. So when I push my button, it goes to position zero, indexes, and stops. Push the button, indexes, and stops. And that's it, folks. Um, certainly more to come. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more of this. Like I said, there's a phenomenal amount of information um, on the Arduino website, as many as well as many uh, blogs, magazine, is, uh, and makers blogs. So check it out. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon.